Thomas to pay. The star running back did not play tonight because of an injured ankle. And six seed Tartan looks like they're going to pull off the upset. Kyle McCamey to Eric Crawford. The sophomore hauls it in. 35 yard gain. Jamie Smith would score from one yard out. At last word, Tartan leading 27 to 10. And this would be an upset in section three. Stillwater, ponies. Winning tonight, Jason Jordan, four touchdown passes. Andy Berg hauls this one in, 48 to 12 over Park. So Stillwater, the number four seed, travels to Hastings on Saturday. Section 25A, a mild upset of sorts. Minnetonka on an ensuing kickoff after a Jefferson field goal. Sean Engel returns the kickoff 80 yards for a touchdown. Minnetonka beat Jefferson tonight 17 to 11. They play at number one rated Eden Prairie on Saturday. Edina won their playoff game over Wilmer tonight. Quarterback Chris Graff to Cam McCambridge, number 37. Big touchdown strike covering 33 yards. Graff had four TD passes. Edina wins 35 to three to advance. Armstrong beat Cooper tonight in section 65A. Jake Girard to Luke Morris, 33 yard strike, seven nothing Falcons in front. Jake Barkley, who beat Cooper last week in the regular season, did it again tonight. Number 33 had three touchdowns. Armstrong wins 34-14. They play at number one seed Maple Grove on Saturday. Totino Grace at North St. Paul. Look out, here comes Eric McCorkle. Number 22 had a big run, 63 yards for a touchdown, 135 yards on 17 carries. North St. Paul wins tonight 14-12. They'll play Matamidi next. That's a wrong score. North St. Paul over uh, um, over Totino Grace, 14-12 the final. Uh, Minneapolis North this afternoon uh, won their opening playoff game. Jermaine Washington, a 52-yard touchdown run as he cuts back against St. Louis Park, and he is on his way for the score. Fourth quarter coming up, Anthony Jackson will go deep to Marcus Owens. A great leaping catch, 31-8 final. North will host the semifinal game on Saturday afternoon. Section 4, 3A, Waconia uh, at Richfield tonight against Holy Angels. Paul Delaney running left, shedding a tackle, scores. But the Wildcats were no match for B.J. Hines and the Stars. Hines breaks off a big gain. Holy Angels eliminates Waconia tonight, 21-7 the final on the turf in Richfield. De La Salle. Looks like they're going to roll on. They're the number one seed in their section. Look out, Rod Malone, 60-yard touchdown run. The Islanders led Norwood Young America at this point 39 to nothing. We don't have a final score in as yet, but De La Salle is on their way. Last year, Blaine was the number one seed, but remember when they made their first of two consecutive prep bowl trips, they were not the one seed. In fact, they were seeded number three. Let's check out the highlights now as the Bengals and head coach Dave Nelson getting it started against Coon Rapids. And early they get a break. They're already leading 14 to nothing. On a third down play, the ball pops loose. It's ruled an incomplete pass. No fumble on the play. Bengals retain possession on fourth down. Hendricks takes advantage. He hits Riando Davis down to the Coon Rapids one yard line. And the Bengals keep the drive alive. Levi Murth bangs in from the one, and it's 20 to nothing in favor of Blaine. Cardinals bottled up most of the first half. Here, Drexler is sacked by Arsenault and Overbow. It gets the football back for the Bengals. Hendricks hits Trevor Frischman down to the Coon Rapids 33-yard line. And then it's Levi Murth rumbling to his left. Now watch this. We're going to see a fake out of the big man. He gets to the outside, gets inside the Coon Rapids five-yard line. It's first and goal. Trevor Frischman finishes. His touchdown puts the Bengals in front 27-0. They go on to win it by a final of 61-15. Elsewhere in Section 7, a first-round matchup between the Saints and the Tornadoes. This was the 4-5 matchup. The fifth-seeded Saints excited about the chance to play the Tornadoes. It was short-lived. Second play of the game. Ernest with the screen pass. It's intercepted by Josh Cranston, who rumbles down inside the 15-yard line. Two plays later, it's Sean Grindy. And Grindy bangs in for the score. 7-0 in favor of the Tornadoes. Anoka back on the attack. On their next possession, it's Grindy again. This time he goes 40 yards all the way down to the St. Francis 21-yard line. And then it's Wetlaufer sweeping left, 13 yards for the score. The Tornadoes go in front, 14 to nothing. They go on to win it by a final of 41 to 14. Through the banner as things get started at Eden Prairie today, Minnetonka won only two games all year. 
Eden Prairie, the outstanding defensive lineman, Nate Schmidt. Schmidt will do it on the defensive line. He'll sack the Minnetonka quarterback, trying to make things happen with a shotgun formation. Eden Prairie's Adam Drill, quarterback. 9 of 12, 116 yards, two touchdowns. This one to Casey Zilka, 50-15. Eden Prairie rolls to a win today. They get Edina next. The Hornets beat Burnsville in 2-5A. Chris Graff, the touchdown pass to Kevin Booth. And Edina on a roll against Burnsville. Their defense does the job, too. Watch them gang tackle Josh Krieg on this play. Six Hornets will make the hit. 31-7 the final. Edina, Eden Prairie next Friday night at Hastings tonight. Watch the quarterback, Dustin Vogel-Gazang, on the option against Stillwater. This is a beautiful touchdown run, and Hastings on their way. You want to see a pretty pass? Check this one out. Vogel-Gazang to Ben Utech, 29-yard TD strike right to you in your living room. 29-yard uh, TD pass, the final tonight, 24-0. Hastings beats George Thole in Stillwater. They get Woodbury next in the 3-5A section final. Big night for Rochester Mayo's Kurt Jepson. He scores the touchdown. Jepson is Rochester's all-time single-season rushing leader. Over 1,700 yards. Mayo cruises 47-13 over Eastview. Back to that White Bear and Moundsview game in Section 4-5A. Watch Moundsview quarterback Don Eustace. The fake, then the quick pass to 88. Eric Peterson gone on the long touchdown. The Mustangs on the board at 7-0. But the Bears come back. They have a good quarterback themselves. Mark Jansen coming up with the fake, then the give. And Nick Johnson does the rest, scoring from 25 yards out. And White Bear beats Moundsview in triple overtime, 34 to 28. Section 5, 5A. Egan wins over Bloomington Kennedy. Dan Fritz finds number 28, Craig Dolanek, for the touchdown pass as Egan rolls to an easy 49-14 win. They will get Creighton next. And a full house on hand to watch Levi Mirth go to work. 25 yards up the middle, down to the Elk River 18-yard line. Three plays later, it's Ekman sweeping and in for the score. Six nothing in favor of Blaine. Elks next possession. They go to the air. Tyler Grupa. He throws and it's intercepted by Luke Rakuski. Bengals take over deep in Elk River territory. First play, however, they give it back. Hendricks has his pass intercepted by Josh Van Donsel. And the Elks hold. The Elks give it back. LaPointe running right, coughs it up. Dave Reeder recovers for the Bengals. And it's Trevor Frischman that goes in for the score. Bengals go in front 12-0. Bengal defense was stifling most of the night, particularly in the first half. As here, Mishmash sweeping to the left. He's met by the entire Bengal defensive unit at the 32-yard line. Lane gets it back once more, Hendricks. Finds Brett Holmgren. Holmgren has really emerged as a big play threat for the Bengals in this game. Two catches, 74 yards, including that one for 60. And it leads to an Ekman touchdown. The Bengals go in front 18-0 after one. They win it by a final of 52-14. On the other side of the bracket, Rebels and Tornadoes. Rebels had never beaten Anoka until earlier this year when they beat them 28-19. They try and make it two in a row with a playoff win. And in the first half, their defense was tough. Here, Wetlaufer is stopped, trying to sweep to the left. Rebels drive late in the half in a scoreless tie. Mason Sullivan bounces outside, 20 yards up the sideline of the Anoka 10-yard line. This led to John Stock, who will find Sullivan through the air and watch as Sullivan just does get the football across the goal line Final minute of the first half, it's 7-0 for the Rebels. Anoka held to 34 yards in the first half. And in the third quarter, they're on the move, but a broken play allows Herman to knife through. He stops Rasmussen, stops the drive. Third and one for the Rebels at the Anoka 40-yard line, Caven Shear. This is why opposing teams fear him every time he touches it. He's a threat to go the distance. 40 for the score, 14-0 Champlin Park. Tim Herman thinks his team is in command with a two touchdown lead. But the Tornadoes think differently. They're on the move. Rasmussen to the air. And he finds Andrew Precker in the end zone for the score. A 25 yard touchdown pass makes it 14 7. But early in the fourth quarter, the Rebels go back in front by two as John Stock rolls to his right. He hits Keith Dunn for the touchdown. 
21-7 Rebels. They withstand a late Anoka rally and win it 21-14. They beat the Tornadoes twice this season. John Stock threw for 133 and a couple of scores. Maple Grove against Armstrong. Jake Girard to Luke Morris, 30-yard TD strike. Falcons in front, 7-0. But Maple Grove is having an incredible year. Justin Lehman's the tailback. Off the option play, 15-yard run. The Crimson win, 26-14. They will host YZ next Friday night. Why is that? Because YZ beat Hopkins today. That's the wrong tape. This is Washburn and North. We need the other tape if we can. Thank you very much. This is Steve Fraley. And watch him go, number 14. It's a 58-yard touchdown run. Fraley had over 100 yards rushing. YZ lost to Hopkins earlier this year at home. But they win today, 28-13. And they get Maple Grove next. Washburn quarterback, Nick Vagel. He'll keep it on the option against North. It's a 17-yard touchdown run. That makes it 21-0 Washburn in the third. The Millers finish off number two North. Jermaine Rankin scores 28-0. Washburn advances. They'll get Roosevelt on Friday night. Section 4-3A, Brooklyn Center in purple. Watch number 28, Walt Whitaker. He gets around the corner, and he is gone. 67 yards. Brooklyn Center leads 21-7 over St. Michael Albertville, but lost. The final 34-21 as the Knights score 27 unanswered points. Well, Mayor Lutheran beat De La Salle, the number one seed in that section today. Eric England, TD strike. The final score in this one as we check the scoreboard. Mayor Lutheran, 22-14 over De La Salle. Breck beat St. Anthony. Did they make it 37? Well, if you watch just the opening kickoff, you'd probably say no. A fumble on the opening kickoff. Edina gets the first break of the game. Chris Graff, the quarterback. The number 21, Jeff Eureko. 26-yard scoring strike. Edina... 7 to nothing. Eden Prairie would come right back first quarter. Adam Drills, the quarterback, and this is a pretty pass to Kevin Guillory, who had 191 yards rushing tonight. 54-yard strike, 7-7. Hornets take the lead then. Graft again to Eureka. 28-yard TD pass. Great block downfield, and it's 13-70 in the second quarter. Eden Prairie would come right back. It's drill on the screen pass. Number 23, Derek Gayton will take it in the junior. Will go 30 yards down the sidelines for the score. With the extra point, Eden Prairie in front, 14-13. Adam Drill had a nice night. Couple of touchdown passes, eight of 11 throwing. Kevin Guillory again on the catch out of the backfield. And then that sets up a one yard scoring run. Jamel Thomas and the final tonight. Eden Prairie 37, Edina 19.